In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a copy command within the command bar. So basically, uh, this is a model driven app. This is based on a table named as minerals. So mineral has a couple of columns in it, minerals, atomic number, mine, etc. Now I have this uh, mineral model driven app which is named as Aussie resources. Now what I want is if I click on say one of the item, I should be able to see a button named as copy. Now if I select multiple button, I should not be able to see that button. Only if one item is selected, then I should see that button named as copy. And once I click on copy, a copy of that particular line item should be created. Now that's the uh, goal basically. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first go into Power Apps uh, and then uh, I'll try to find the app which I have here named as Aussie Resources. So I'll click on Edit button. So once I click on Edit button, I should be able to navigate to the Minerals view and the Minerals form. Now in Minerals view, I can see there's something called as Edit Command Bar. Now Edit Command Bar. Now I can select main grid or main form, but the goal is to have this in the main grid. So this is the main grid. So I want command command to be placed over here in the ribbon. So I'll select main grid, I'll click on edit. Now the first goal is to have that command uh, available. So I'll click on new, new command. I'll use power effects, click on continue. Now the name of the button will say uh, copy minerals. Okay. So it now what what this uh, entire action does is like it creates a component library so component library will house all the commands and all the power effects which we'll write as a part of that component So now the command is created, it's named as new command. I'll name it as copy minerals or just a copy mineral. And the icon I'll use, use icon and I'll try to find a suitable icon. So let me use something like this, okay? So brightness, okay? So this is the uh, icon. Now, what I want is to show this button, okay? So visibility is show on condition from formula and visible is, uh, say, there is a command called as count rows. So count rows and I'll say self dot selected dot item. Equal to one. Okay, so count rows of self dot selected dot sorry all items equal to one. Now, if the selection is just one, then only show this command. Okay, so that's the goal of from a visibility perspective. But how do we write an execution command for that? So when I select this command and click on action, run formula, open formula bar. So here I need to write a command for the copy so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna first write a simple command which is called as a patch so patch and uh, here i need to specify uh, the table name the table name is minerals and i will say get the defaults so defaults of that particular table so defaults of minerals addition to that i can uh, make uh, some addition uh, to that particular column value so mineral description or atomic number or any other column which i want to edit so what i'm going to do i'll just put a uh, i'll just type in minerals so it will give me all the columns which i have label like mine mineral description uh, the name of the mineral so i'll just type in minerals and for that what i would want is like say the goal is basically if i select gold and as I select a copy of it then I should say gold dash copy so for that what I need to do is I need to get the reference so self dot selected dot item dot 
minerals so that's one so i want to say gold that is the mineral item and ampersand so i'll append the value you know, dash and say copy or duplicate something like that and that's it so this is how my command will look like so i'll close this brace and i'll close this brace so this is the basic command so what it will do if you select an item then it will create a copy of it and in the title it will just put gold dash duplicate or silver dash duplicate now what addition to that what you can do is you can use an if error condition so i have this if error condition so if error condition syntax is basically you put a condition around here and then what should be displayed if it's an error and what should be displayed if it's a success okay so this is how you basically write an if error condition now condition we have already uh, written uh, so if error this is that condition okay uh, now in if it's an error then i'll just show you what to write as an error so we'll just say notify so notify is like putting a notification uh, in notify we will say hey some error has occurred okay and you can put your own description and i'll just say notification type dot error if it's a success then just press and enter and i'll say notify again but this time it's a success and notification type dot success so this is how my uh, entire statement looks like okay so if error then this is the command which i need to execute let me remove this part from here yep and if it's an error it will show an error if it's a success it will show in success and then i'll close the if error and if i close from here this is yep so let me close this so so notific this is the error message this is the success message this is where the if error closes down and this is the command right so let me save and publish now you can skip if error if you want uh, like it's just like you're putting an additional validation to check the execution of the patch command whether the patch command uh, the result of the patch command is a success or it's an error if it's an error then you can grab the error and then you can show it to the user as well uh, but in my case i just put something over there uh, okay so if you see here it says we are still publishing parts of your app so let me close this and i'll click on play now once this message goes away then only i will be able to see the changes which i have made into the command bar now this has gone so let me go over here and click on refresh again and now if i click on in and i see this is there is the button is visible named as copy mineral if i select one more item this button is not visible or if i remove any selection this button is not visible so this button is only visible if you select one item so i'll select plutonium and i'll click on copy mineral once that is done what it has done it has shown me a success message and it has created duplicate of plutonium similarly if i click silver click on copy mineral and then it will create a duplicate of the silver item similarly for iron copy mineral and then iron duplicate so this is how you can create a duplicate copy of the record so what we have done uh, if you go back to the command bar we have created a command button and then on visibility i have written a formula that says if one item is selected then only show that record also in the action i have written uh, a simple patch command which patches the value of the mineral table and in this opening and closing braces i have just taken one column item and then made some text change uh, i just said that create a copy of the previous uh, item selected and put append duplicate to it now you can put anything over here and you can even add multiple columns over there so this is how you basically create a copy of an item using command bar thanks for watching